Uh, let's look for wands now. So I like wands the most for spark. You could use wands or scepters or even daggers if you wanted to. Hell, you can even use a bow on a spark build, but we're not going to do anything fancy. We're going to go with wands. And the reason for that is projectile speed. It is godly for a pierced sparker. It is so good that we are going to be putting it on as one of our primary stats we're going to be looking for. Next, it would be ideal if we could get some cast speed. So we're going to start off by putting the dream stats. And then we want... Is there a total? Is there a way to total spell plus lightning damage? I don't actually know if there is a way to do that. Because what we can actually do is we can look for something with a high total of spell and lightning damage. Because those two things work the same for us. Doesn't matter whether it's spell or lightning, whether it's 50 spell and 20 lightning or 70 spell and no lightning, it's going to be the same. Increase lightning spell damage total. Oh, there is a stat for that. Cool, we'll look at that. We also want to keep in mind the idea of added lightning works really well too. So we may end up using that too. Total lightning spell damage. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try that. Um, plus to plus to socket of gems is not going to be important in this build. If you get a plus one cold, you can put arctic armor in there. It's not a big deal though. All right, so let's see what we can find first off, right off the bat here. Uh, okay, we have cast speed bases with not too much. I think I'm thinking for like the one alk to one chaos mark. We're going to be looking for a bit of projectile speed and cast speed, along with something like 20, 30, maybe 40 if we're lucky. Total spell damage. So, people have trouble pricing added lightning as well, so we may get something cheap with that. This one here, for example, looks pretty good. 17 car speed, it's already 3 linked, 3 to 46 lightning dispels, and then spell damage, total spell damage, lightning is 47. This is this is what we want, exactly. That's exactly what we want. The 14 projectile speed's a little low, but we can handle that. Alright, this character's not logged in, so that's a shame. Because <laughs> that was a really nice one. That was a really nice one. So this would be ideal. Seeing something like that, you like grab that instantly because that's really good. That's what I mean by people kind of undervaluing the lightning dispels too, because that's like that's like an 80 spell damage wand right there if you kind of like work out the value that the lightning damage is giving you. What do we have here? We have for 10 alterations a pretty good added lightning with increased lightning and car speed and projectile speed. If we don't find any good deals with proj speed, we will sack proj speed. You can go moon sorrows. They don't have projectile speed, but they are a good option. I'll open another trade here and show. Um, I kind of want to show the process of buying rares more though, but Moon Sorrow is a decent option. And whenever I talk about Moon Sorrow, the price is like triple, so... <laughs> I try not to talk about Moon Sorrow, but that is a good option too. You can get them pretty cheap, and they are quite good. Look, we can get them really cheap, actually. How much total spell lightning is that? That's 50 something with 10 car speed. You get a little bit of chance to blind enemies too. They're kind of nice. This one's three linked. Like we could buy one of these and then have a projectile speed, car speed one on the other hand, maybe. Moonsar is very good. This And for the price these are going for, that's probably our best option at this point. I do want to show how to buy the, the rares, but I guess I kind of already showed what you're looking for, right? Like this one that we just spied here, that's perfect. Stuff like that is exactly what we're looking for. So that is perfect. We might end up buying a Moonsaur here though. Because this one is really quite cheap. High high enough spell damage. Alright, and it's three linked, which saves us currency. So we'll get that. We'll buy that one. We could um we could buy one Moonsaur and one rare maybe to get more projectile speed. Because if we go, that's the only down the thing I don't like about Moon Sorrow for this is they don't have projectile speed. They're great if you're playing Arc or something. So you can go Wand and Shield if you're having trouble with resistances. But the way we're going, we're probably not going to need to do that. We'll start off with one wand now, and then we'll wait till the end to buy our second wand or shield, depending on what we need. I'm a little low on int for Moon Sorrow, but we can work. We can figure that out with an amulet. Yeah, that won't be hard to figure out with an amulet. So that's not a problem that we can't equip it now. Remember when you made Moon Sorrow for 5 Chaos? Yes. Last time, I, when I made an Arc build originally, I mentioned Moon Sorrow as a good budget item because <laughs> they were like, like this price, right? Like four alterations. But then because of the hype, they went up to 5 Chaos and you could buy ones that were like twice as good for 2 Chaos. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. So if Moon Sorrows, when you're doing this yourself, are like 2, 3 Chaos, then look at some rare ones and see if you can actually get something else better. Because just think about what's actually on this, right? There is 10% car speed and about 50-60 total spell damage. That's that's all that you need to factor in. The blind is nice, sure, but the rest of it is kind of kind of not really that important. So we don't need to worry about that much at all. 